Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,396. Hey, if you want to download this Excel workbook, Excel Magic Trick 1,396 to 97, so you can follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we got a great video here. We got to talk about running total and percent of running total calculations. Now, the next three videos, 1396 to 1398, we're going to talk about how to do this with pivot tables in this video. Next video, we'll see how to do it with Excel formulas. And in the third installment, we'll see how to do it with DAX formulas. Now, in our pivot table video, we're going to have two examples. And in each, we'll calculate count, running total, and percent running total. Now, the synonyms for those are frequency means count. Cumulative frequency means running total, and percent cumulative frequency means percent in running total. We might see these in statistical reports. These are the names they use in the pivot table show values as feature. Now, our first example is for quantity. And we're going to actually have to group into categories 101 quantity up to 150. 151 up to 200. And then count how many of the transactions had a quantity that falls between this lower and upper limit. Count, then calculate the cumulative frequency or running total. That just means 27 is, of course, 27. But when we get to the second category, it's the sum of the first two. Third, sum of the first three. And then finally, we'll calculate the percent cumulative frequency. And this is quite a useful statistic, because now we can say about 42% of the transactions sold with a quantity of 150 or less. When we get down to this category right here, 75% of the transactions had a quantity of 250 or less. Now, each one of these calculations is based on the quantity, not only did we group based on the quantity column, but we also made our calculations on the quantity column. When we come down to our second example, we're actually going to group all the individual dates. And notice the same thing applies for this category right here as it did for this category. Up here, we counted between a lower and upper limit. Here, we're summarizing between April 1st, 2017, and then the end of the month, April 2017. So there's a lower and upper limit here. But then we're going to add from the revenue column. So here, we're going to group by date and then summarize based on revenue. All right. so. In both reports, we'll do running total, percent of running total, do the same thing up here. And in both, we will group using the pivot table grouping feature. All right, let's go over to the sheet 1396PT and see how to do this. All right, here's our proper data set, field names at the top, records and rows, empty cells all the way around. I click in a single cell, go up to Insert Pivot Table, or I can use the keyboard Alt N V. Now we're going to put this on the existing sheet, the location. I'll try and select cell G10, click OK. Now this is what is so amazing about the pivot table feature, because we can simply take quantity and drag it. Remember, this is a number field. Usually, we're dragging it down to values. But as soon as we drag it to rows, of course, that always gives us a unique list of items from that column. We simply come over to the column, right click, and use the grouping feature. Now, it sees the min and the max, and it suggests an increment. I'm simply going to highlight that type 50 as the increment, and then click OK. And instantly, we get our lower and upper limit for each category. Now, we can come over, and we're going to drag quantity. And watch this. We already group quantity. But when we drag quantity down here, which is a number field, normally it defaults to the sum calculation. But we've categorized it, so it defaulted to count which is exactly what we want. Now I'm going to click up in this cell and type frequency and Enter. Not only that, but I'm going to get rid of that row labels by going up to Design, Report Layout, 
Show in Tabular. Now notice the pivot table keeps changing column width every time I change the pivot table. So I'm going to right click, come down to Pivot Table Options, and on Layout and Format, uncheck Auto Fit Column Widths on Update, click OK. Then I'm going to highlight all three columns and universally change the width of all three. All right, so we have our frequency. Now we can drag quantity down below, frequency in our values area, right click, show values as. And sure enough, look at that. There's running total in. Now we only have one field on the row, so quantity is the correct base field. Click OK. And there's our running total. And I click at the top. Cumulative frequency and enter. I'm going to drag quantity down once again, the third item down in values. Right click, show values as, percent running total in. Quantity as the base field, click OK. Click up at the top, percent cumulative frequency and enter. So we can see 75% there. Cumulative frequency is 310. We can say from our transaction set that 75% of these transactions had quantity of 250 or less. Now, actually, our next video, we'll make a chart of this, which beautifully articulates visually this percentage calculation. But you can make the same statistical statement by looking at each row in the pivot table. All right, that was our first example. Now we want to create our second example and group by date. So I click in a single cell in our data set, Alt-N-V. I'm going to be risky and put this location a couple rows below. Click OK. Now let's drag date down to rows. Instantly in 2016 Excel, it automatically groups for you. Now, in earlier versions, you still have to come over and right click group. Not only that, but if you really did want like daily counts or something, then you have to use ungroup in Excel 2016. All right, I'm going to come over and drag quarters off and come over and expand. There's all of our months. There's all of our months for 2018. Don't like row labels? Come up to Design, Report Layout, Show in Tabular. Now, in this case, we grouped by date. But now when we want to add individual revenue, we simply drag that number field down here, and it defaults to sum. Now, watch this. I want to name this field Revenue. So I type Revenue, and I hit Enter. It's not going to let me because I have a revenue field already. So here's the trick. Escape, right at the end, type a space and enter. Now, I need to add number formatting to this entire field. Right click and not format cells. I want number formatting. This dialog box is mistitled. It should say format field, but it says format cells. All right, I'm going to click currency. Two decimals is fine. Click OK. You can always tell that this is the correct mislabeled format cells dialog box because it has only one tab, the number tab. If it had all of them, it would actually be formatting the cells. Click OK. All right, now let's do cumulative. I'm going to drag revenue down below. Right click, show values as running total in. Now, we do have a choice here because we have two items over in the row. If I do date, it will give me 100% when it gets down to the end. And that's what we want. So there's the total for the year 2017. And then down here is the total for 2018. Click at the top, running total, and Enter. Right click, number formatting, something like currency, click OK. Now notice, this field didn't default to count up here where we drop the actual field we grouped, so it assumed we wanted to count. Here, this was a different field. It assumed we wanted to use the sum calculation. Now let's drag revenue one more time down below running total. Right click, show values as, percent running total in. Definitely want date. We get an individual 100% for each one of the years. 
Notice we didn't have to number format that one either. All right, so this one's going to be percent running total. And now we can say 72% of our total revenues for the year were accumulated by the last day in its September. So it looks like by the end of June, 47% of our revenue had accumulated. And of course, by December 31st, 100% of all the years had been accumulated. All right, so that's some pretty powerful calculating with running total and percent running total. In this report, we saw how to group by year and then do these two calculations up here. Notice the columns continued to change because I forgot to do it down here too. Right click, pivot table options, auto fit, uncheck, click OK. All right, and then our first report, we group by quantity and did frequency cumulative and percent cumulative frequency. All right, next video, we'll see how to do this top calculation with formulas, two different types of formulas, and the chart that works for percent cumulative or percent running total in. All right, we'll see you next video.